Welcome everybody back to another bold cast reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai episode four. What happened last time? Last time was the end of Bunny Girl Senpai. <laughs> now we're on to something Bunny Girl else. Senpai Gaiden. <laughs> <laughs> the sequel story. Yeah, so uh, Mai is back and everyone can see her and she's totally normal. But something's still not right in this school because the atmosphere is severely messed up. Mm -hmm. So now it seems as though we're going to be moving on to another instance of adolescent syndrome. Whether it, there's just like the next one is the one that's going on for the rest of the series, or I think it's, gonna uh, be it's going to be like a like a almost like a week to week uh, dealing with these problems for a little bit, and then maybe like a final. Uh, some kind of solution or way to go forward. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure if th this is like the first season of more to come or if it's like a 12 episode thing. So Neither am I. Now uh, we'll get to see what happens for the rest of the show mm -hmm. now that the first problem is sort of dealt with. Yeah, it was teased that the girl that uh, they kicked each other in the ass at the park that one time, that she's going to be going through something. <laughs> Uh, do you remember? Did they say what that was, or did it was I don't just think like? So. I yeah. think it was just random. I think that they teased her somehow. Maybe it was in the preview that we accidentally saw or something. But I think it was an after credits mm -hmm. or something like that. But we'll see. We're gonna get right into this. Hope you guys like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon for a week ahead or uncuts for this series and many others. Don't come here to watch the show. Come here to hear, come here to hear what we have to say. This is a reaction and review. This is not a market substitute for watching on Crunchyroll or Funimation, which is where you, we ask you to support the official release. Let's go, Bunny Girl Senpai, episode four. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> also, when are they going to get the second cat? Is what yeah, I'm really wondering. Oh, yeah, there's still the thing with her sister. She has a, what, it was an older sister? Uh, or did yeah, she just uh, say she had a sister? And I theorized that it was the other girl because it was from a different marriage. And I theorized that no, because people don't. <laughs> Still don't remember her. I'm wondering if the blonde girl is the, her sister. Who's this chick with the red umbrella? That might be the uh, girl who no one remembers or doesn't exist. There's no way she doesn't exist. <laughs> All right. There's no tomorrow for ra for a rascal. <laughs> This music sounds really like something, but I don't know what. Mai-san,何々のことを言うから作ってきてあげたんだぞ。すいませんでした。僕が悪かったです。名前付きでした。ごめんなさい。わかればいいのよ。いただきます。いただきます。あの、Mai-san。何好きです。付き合ってる。
Unless. How nice. Some actual uh, romantic development going on. Why are you making a big deal out of the, the footy on TV? No. Wait. It what? Heim loop. I called you it. You did call it. <laughs> but but not like but completely not like indirect. Yeah. Is that what Futaba was we being weird about this morning yesterday? Yeah, same thing. And she just like walks up and she's just like what? It's probably someone else's thing is doing it. But only him, so that doesn't make sense. I think it's her. <laughs> Just skips to the end. <laughs> Thank God. Didn't want to watch that entire conversation again. <laughs> <laughs> what was that little spin that he did? I don't know. <laughs> Ohio Gazayamas indeed. <laughs> Who else is that? I need to look at the little sister's voice. <laughs> they called it eighth grade syndrome. Oh, really? Oh, eighth grade syndrome, that's Chunibyo. That's a different thing. And then she said, you can call it a lot. That's a different, like, uh, word. いや、未来予知も簡単じゃないだろう。that's what was mentioned at the end. Yeah. Like you? I was wondering they tease that girl, but I was wondering if it was like the guy because she's not saying yes to going out with him or something. Mm. I bet he's gonna see it again and then she's gonna react differently. Either she'll react differently or he'll do something differently. She's somewhere else. Mm. What did you just say to me? あざさがわさった。みんなさん。ごばとない。1年生。資料蹴り合ったのかなんだし。それ忘れて。ここ。何？今日は何度目だ。僕は3度目だ。私も3度目。私だけじゃなかったんだ。こんなのこれ。こん
What are you doing? This shithead keeps cornering me in the hallways. <laughs> Love how she just like freely admits that. But I saw, but I saw her from the shadows go in here. <laughs> Flippin' don't like it. <laughs> Still just lurking around. Oh no. Must have been my imagination. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're let's just just kill me now so I can redo this day all over again. <laughs> Disappears. And they're not gonna get to repeat this day anymore. <laughs> you say that? I don't think. Wait, the twenty eighth. 28th? Yeah, 28th. Fuck. Uh, Maybe it's because something actually happened in that is because exchange. She didn't, get a she didn't get asked out. The whole problem was that she was a if she get got asked out, either everyone would hate her or her friend would hate her, depending on the answer. But if he never asked her, then there was never an answer. That's possible, but my interpretation is that because he no longer is going to pursue her... The, the relationship is no longer in limbo, therefore the day isn't repeating. That was my interpretation. それで別にどうも。そうか、切られて嬉しいとか思ってる自分に嫌気がさしてるだけ。そうだ、また乙女チックな悩みだな。あずさ川に声をかけ知るだけなのに。その一言だ。何の好きだって。今は正論なんて
She sounds more like Yui. But then, <laughs> how about find someone else to fake date? Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah, why do you care so much? Embarrassing. My God. This is so dumb. I hate this shit so much. Not the show, just the situation. I, I, I don't have a problem. With, it's not a problem with the show that I have. It's just I hate shit. Like, I hate situations like this. This is so dumb. Yeah. I feel like the biggest problem is nobody she doesn't have an intrinsic sense of value she just fucking is entirely and same with my it seems like the biggest thing is that everyone is living for other people nobody's living for themselves except for fucking sakata <laughs> she's just making out with some <laughs> beach dude <laughs> he just walks out in underwear what'd you think of that one interesting do you want to just do that yeah i'm just first. gonna look oh no tamori's first name is now and the first name of the voice actress is now yes she is the voice of yui i knew it that's where i recognize her yeah so koga is the voice of yui i'm sure there's other voice actors that i would recognize but yeah so I, that's what I was looking for the whole time, but I was trying to half pay attention so I didn't like just look what mm -hmm. I needed to look up and then just get back to the show because I, I didn't want to want to like fully take away my attention. But yeah, what'd you think of the episode? It was good. Interesting that we've launched fully into another thing where another now there's waifu? this yeah <laughs> uh, another situation that's kind of weird but I, i'm like you where i don't i hate when this exact situation happens in like every show ever whether it's anime or not it's just kind of a, it's just kind of frustrating because i'm like maybe what matter yeah it's just it and i know it's i think it might be a cultural thing but it's i don't think it fully is because everyone's concerned about like what they what people think of them but the thing with the thing that was like beating everyone down is be that and the reason they're going through all this shit is because and it is like a it, i guess it's not a cultural thing it's just an age thing maybe that's what maybe that's why we find it so annoying because when you're 13 14 15 it really does matter that everyone is like thinking that you're dating this person and all this <laughs> shit but as a 24 year old man i'm sitting here watching this like why the fuck do you care so much and what you're you care not not just care so much you are you are more willing to lie about your relationship status with a guy that you don't actually even like maybe she kind of does but like you 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 care more about how you look to everyone else than actually being happy yourself and you care more and like your entire sense of purpose in your life is wrapped up in what other people think of you when really the answer is to just say fuck all that and do your own thing but it's just it's just so frustrating because like you can't control what other people think of you and and but everything that about what they're doing is wrapped up and, and is completely dependent on what other people think of them 
and it's just really frustrating because there's no way out there's no way unless you're just naturally charismatic and popular and can in her case get any guy she wants get the popular guy if she just liked the dude that likes her back or i, I guess that would cause more problems but like she just once you once you start playing these games you're immediately wrapped up in it and there's nothing you can do uh, at least that's my perspective and it's just like just by electing to play the game that she's playing she is already lost uh, when the the only way to win is to not play at all or to maybe not pl not not play at all but just not gear your entire sense of your entire award system towards things that you cannot control in your life uh, it's just really frustrating because there's there's no way out the only way out is to be honest uh, like he did, like, uh, Sakata did, uh, last episode, where mm -hmm. he's, like, where he, like, ran out and said his true feelings and, like, shattered the illusion and shattered this thin veneer of, oh, keep, like, you know, you need to act a certain way, you need to do this or that. He just did what his heart wanted, and it solved the problem, and it was completely against the atmosphere that is being set up, and, uh, and, yeah. And I, I want to see what the answer, what how that will play into this, because I don't think the an the true answer is what she's thinking, where she's asking him to like lie about being in a relationship mm -hmm. with her. That's not the answer. The answer is live your life and be happy about your own decisions. And uh, like she doesn't even like the guy. Just like be honest with your friends, and if they aren't, if they don't want you to be honest, and they aren't your actual friends, then fuck them. Then it doesn't matter. Like, why are you trying to appease the uh, feelings of of these bitches who just who like you are you're so afraid of telling of being truthful with them that you're afraid that they won't believe you and that they'll like scorn you for it and everyone will turn their back on you. How, what kind of a relationship is that? Are those the kind of people you want on your side? No. So fuck them. Do what you want to do. Yeah, but at the same time, he is also like what thirteen. Yeah. Yeah, but it's still the answer. It's, it doesn't matter what age you are. It's harder to see that, and that's the conflict, is that they're children. So it's it's, it's more difficult to see that uh, as a kid, but it's it's still just as true. You can't, you can't control what other people think of you. Mm -hmm. So you need to just do what makes you happy. What do you think about that? Or what do you think about the episode? Yeah, um... I thought they were gonna, like, p pull, like, a switcheroo on that and it not be her. That That is, I thought they were gonna, like, Oh, you're going, like, us. way back to the start of the episode. Yeah, I'm just talking about the episode in general. Okay. Uh, I thought they were gonna, like, pull a switcheroo and it was actually the, they teased us with the girl at the end of last episode's. But I thought they were gonna, uh, trick it or switch it around and make it the guy who's, like, redoing it because she's not giving him the answer that he wants or whatever. But then it turned out it was just because she was in a situation where there was no way to get out of it. Like, either it was, like, a lose-lose situation for her. And only this other weird thing is a, is a solution, but at least, but probably not for very long. Are, you, are we sure that that's actually the reason for it? That, like, it's 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 because she feels like she'll lose either way? Or is it because... She just didn't give him a straight answer and kept him kept the whole thing in limbo. Didn't say yes, didn't say no. It wasn't just her not giving him an answer. It was her, the entire situation. Oh, do I say yes and betray my friends but not lose yeah, the she favor? Yeah, she doesn't want... It's a lose-lose situation. That's Yeah. Yeah, so it, that's why? We know that's why? I'm pretty sure that's why. Did they say that's why? It's, it has to do with her feelings and her thing. Her yeah. genuinely not wanting to give an answer uh, would only be hinged on the fact that she doesn't want to choose either way. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think it's, like, the choices of... I don't think it's, like, the outcome of the choices that she's not choosing. Uh, I, guess I'm, I'm, I guess I'm thinking about it a different way. I'm thinking, like, because she's, she's not choosing, and that's what's forcing her into, like, repeating the day. Where she's not, like, making a decision. She'd rather... She'd, like... She's dodging the question, or, oh, can I have more time to think about it? Rather than saying no, or yes, or tell, talking to her friends, or moving or moving yeah, out that, in Yeah, that's why I'm saying direction. that this thing that they're in right now is, like, a false moving forward. Because it's not... It's, like, an alternate route where she doesn't have to choose. Because it's, it's not a... She doesn't have to... The question doesn't come up. 
Does that mm. make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, th- she'll have to, s- she'll have to actually uh, face it again at some point, which is why he was asking, oh, well, if it comes up again, like, if, if the misunderstanding goes away and she's, like, and she gets asked again, will we just go back to that same day again? And mm-hmm. it's like, well, maybe, yeah, sure, why not? Well, yeah, okay, so I think we're on the same page. So, like, the way out of it isn't to just lie about it and say, no. here's the misunderstanding. This it was is just like a all temporary solution to a problem that she still has to deal with. Yeah. Uh, that will actually make the adolescent syndrome go away. This which is, m- is maybe confronting it or... Yeah, which is, yeah. yeah, just facing it head on and making a choice one way or the other. Um, yeah. But for right now, uh, this seems like a good option for her because it's a way out of... She still is in everyone's favor and she gets to pick a different way. Yeah, but it's obviously just evading but the But she real didn't problem. make the... Tr- yeah, it's just still just dodging around the, what was the problem in the first place. Yeah. So I don't think that just going along with this is the solution. What do you think the solution is? Um, I think it's her actually saying yes or no, like, yes or no. And maybe they'll get to the point where, like, because they're going to go on, like, fake dates and stuff or whatever and hang out. And maybe but what she... do you think the solution is? Like, she could say yes or no, but what she says she doesn't she doesn't like the guy anyway. She just doesn't want to be scorned by her friends and have everyone turn their back on her. So what do you think the solution is? I think it's just somehow having an open dialogue with her friends and saying, yeah, I don't, I can't choose whether this guy likes me and I don't actually like him. Mm-hmm. I think that that's the solution. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, probably something of being honest with her friends. And then if they still accept her afterwards, that would be, like, the good solution. Mm -hmm. I think that it's going to be that, but I don't think that her friends are going to accept her. And I think part of the growing experience here is going to be that those people who will abandon you based on shit like that are not your friends. You need to find friends elsewhere. Like Sakuta, or like somebody else who actually could care about her rather than these bitches who are, like, vain and don't, you know... Like, if if they turn their back on her, if they don't, then that's fine, and she still has friends. But the fact that she, I think, is just going to be a good character moving forward points me to the direction of maybe they'll... Yeah, either they won't be her friends, or they still will be her friends, and she was just overthinking it, like, the whole time. Yeah, maybe. Or, like, they'll be upset, but they know it's not her fault. Yeah. But yeah, I wonder how, like, I wonder if there's just going to be, like, three episode arcs mm. of, like, all A these different... different... waifu? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, maybe. And I wonder what the solution with Mai is going to be. If they'll, like, talk it out and she'll be like... Yeah. No, that's... I wonder if she will be like, oh, sure, go ahead with it. Or she'll be like, no, don't do that. Or she'll be like oh, this isn't the solution to that problem. I think that she's going to be, like, out of the picture until this is all figured out. That's my idea. Mm-hmm. I think that when it's... Because causing it... It will, like, reset if... Whatever. If, if, if shit fucks up with her relationship, then uh, they, they get reset. If shit fucks up... then And if shit fucks up with his relationship, then it gets reset as well. So I think the they're both in this together, and until they both find a solution to the misunderstanding in both of their mm-hmm. lives, then... I also am cur- would be curious to find out, how, like, how why he is special, like why is he also in on this reset, mm. uh, and why was he the la- the last one to see her? What like you know why why did he see that other girl previously? Like wh- he's like a very common factor in all these different instances, and especially. In- in this one, and in the last one, because he could see her in the bunny outfit when no one else could, and he hadn't, like, previously really known or cared about her. Mm-hmm. Or, like, enough to be remembering her in the way that he did. Yeah. So I wonder if he has some kind of thing. And we still don't know what was going on with the whole, like, thing across his chest. And, that, like, what his, like, we don't know the full story of his dealings with it. So, mm-hmm. I'm interested to know, like, what what What's is setting factor? him apart yeah. and uh, co- making him be able to be the common factor in all of this. Yeah. Well, guess we'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye.